This is a Weba Life Workshop. My name is Richard Affolter, and uh, today is the 22 September. Is uh, nine o'clock over here in Switzerland, uh, and it's great to welcome you, so many agents today, to this workshop. Um, we have a very dedicated workshop today uh, for U.S. schools, uh, and shortly we will welcome our speaker, Lynn, which I can see Lynn is already available. Hello, Lynn. How are you today? I am well, thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. How's the situation in California at the moment? How's the weather in California? Give us some good news. <laughs> well, the weather in California is always lovely. Um, unfortunately, we've had some fires in the north and the south, but um, we have not been affected in uh, Los Angeles by them. So that's that's good news. This is fantastic. As you know, Lynn, we want to hear only good news today. No COVID, <laughs> yes. no coronavirus. I think <laughs> we have enough around the world about this. Uh, and we need uh, only some positive uh, because our industry deserves this. Uh, you know, people want to go back like it was before. People want to send the student outside the home country and start to earn commission as well and, and this is very very important so i know that um, at your school you have students the school is running and this is a is a very good um, is a is, is very important now to tell to the right Correct. yeah so um after after we had the lockdown with covid we had some students who decided that they would stay on campus and not try to get home and then of course there were others who need felt that they needed to get back to their home countries so since march we've had about 35 students at the school and then they stayed you know during the end of the school year and through summer school and then uh two weeks ago we received another cohort of students of about 20 students and they are currently quarantined they're just about to get out of quarantine and uh, and then they will join the rest of the student body so i think that's great news so we'll have about 50 students on campus right now of course it's a it's a small number to what we're used to having we even though we're a small school we we only have uh, um usually about 150 students so but I think to have 50 students during COVID as boarding students is, uh, is really good. Yeah, it's excellent, it's excellent. I mean, uh, the great advantage is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for everyone who join us uh, just now, is that uh, students can uh, travel to United States, they are able to start the school, they're able to finish the postgraduate program inside in the school that we will present shortly and then after applying to the US university. So there is, the borders are not closed. Uh, you welcome students from all around the world. I presume, of course, they have to do this quarantine. I presume right. quarantine is about two weeks, correct? Yes, yes. This, uh, that's, that's what we have, um, that's the protocol. Yes. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, in the meantime, more and more agents are joining us at the moment. So uh, for all the new agents uh, who join us the first time today, it will be very, very kind if you can remain on mute modality. This is very, very important always to remain on mute modality so that our speaker will be able uh, to give the presentation. Then below, you will find a chat. Uh, there is a chat below. If you have any question during the presentation or when the presentation is finished, just leave your question below on the chat. This is the first part, which is very, very important for you to know. And I will put now on the chat and I will share my screen a second. Um, I will share my screen uh, so that I will put a link on the chat uh, for every one of you. So in case you are serious interested to cooperate uh, with the school and uh, register your students uh, for the postgraduate program and then after for the university in the US, uh, please uh, fill out the form that I put now on, uh, on, um, on the chat below. So this will help uh, the school to understand uh, your organization and so they will be able to schedule a one-to-one -one meeting with you. So very important, I just put now the form site link, you can just fill out this uh, during the presentation as well. This will help us to 
work a little bit faster. Now with Zoom and uh, everything, we have to work faster. And this is what we tried today and as well yesterday and in the coming days. So in addition of this one, I want to inform everyone and I will share my screen one more time about our portal. Because in our portal, we have at the moment 3,577 agents and school inside. As you can see, Lean is here on the left side. And uh, you will find all the previous workshop uh, here uh, that we held in the last three, four days. So if you want to just go, go and see some of the live workshop that we had, and I try to take some time now because I can see more agents are registering. So I take a little bit of time to explain to everyone. If you want to see some previous uh, workshop uh, we had in the last couple of days, just go on the link below and you will be able to see. We have many, many events running at the moment. We had many last week, many coming. So on webworkshop.ning.com, you will be always um, able to, to see the, the, the live workshop that we had. If you want to go in contact with Lean, just click here on Lean and you will be able to send her a message directly in case you need. Or, but what we prefer today is that uh, if you're interested to work with Lean together, then uh, to fill out uh, the link that I put on the chat system. Now you cannot see me anymore. This is fantastic. I have to change my virtual background. Let me see here. Voila, here we go. So everyone can see me now on the green. So let, let's start first uh, with a short video, a video of two minutes uh, that uh, we receive directly from the school. And uh, then after we will move on with the presentation. Fantastic. This was a warm up, ladies and gentlemen. It was a warm up for every agent who are here now today. We welcome at the moment, Lean, 40 agents from around the world. So this is a very good mix of agents. I would like to welcome the new agents as well. I can see today we have some agents from Zimbabwe. And this is uh, fantastic. Uh, welcome to join us today from Zimbabwe as well. And uh, welcome to everyone. I can see we have agents coming from many different countries. It was just a, a big hello to the agent from Zimbabwe because it's very, very rare that we get someone from this part of the world. So it's always very much appreciated to have uh, such a, a mix of agents join us at the Weber Life Workshop. So Lynn, 
Now, uh, what we do here, uh, you will be able to share your screen. Just click below, there is written share screen. And mm -hmm. so you are able to give the presentation of your school. So you can start okay. to click there. And uh, sometimes I will stop in you and I will ask you some question that I received from the agents. So okay. Please uh, feel, feel free to start to share your screen. And all the agents, okay. if you have any questions, just go below on the chat system. There is a chat system and um, you will be able directly to um, to put your questions here. Now, for all the agents who ask us uh, if they can record the video, what we do, we already record the video ourselves and we put uh, the link of the video directly in our portal, like I showed before. I will reshow the portal one more time after we finish with the workshop. Uh, so you will be able to, to receive the, the presentation of Lean directly there in our portal. Portal. So, Lynn, you are more than welcome to start uh, to give the presentation. Okay, thank you, Richard. <clears throat> and <clears throat> welcome, everyone, and good morning. It's, um, it's uh, just after midnight here in California, and uh, you're up on starting a new day. So, let me get started and introduce you to Southwestern Academy. So, we are... Um, a co-educational boarding school. We have two campuses. Our main campus is located in Southern California, just outside of Los Angeles. Our second campus is located in the state of Arizona, uh, in the northern part of the state, fairly close to the Grand Canyon. We um, have been a boarding school for 96 years now, and uh, are co-educational and serve the needs of students from ages 12 to 18. I know that um, Richard has mentioned also that we have a postgraduate program and this is for students who would like to come and prepare themselves for university for just one year after they've already completed their high school in their respective countries. So let me just tell you again a little bit about um, where we're actually located because in Southern California, we're in a really beautiful part of the state. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Los Angeles and all it has to offer. Our school is located about 15 kilometers from downtown LA and that's about a um, 35 minute drive from Los Angeles International Airport. So it's in a very convenient part of the state, easy for students to get to. Um, this is our main campus and we have about 150 students studying here um, in a normal year. As, uh, as you all know, we're busy with uh, trying to cope with uh, everything that COVID has thrown at us. And so our student body is reduced, but we are open. Um, for students that are at school, they can take part in actual classes. Um, for students who have remained in their home countries, they are taking part in classes through distance learning. All of the protocols that we have in place for um, this time of COVID can be found on our website. And um, at the end of this slide, there will be the web address that you can look at and find those links if you need to. Our second campus right now is closed because of COVID, but during the regular school year, this would be open and um, the campus in San Marino in California is an urban campus. The campus in Arizona is a rural campus. And you can see on this, guy, um, this slide, some of the differences um, in Arizona. We're in a beautiful green valley. The students here follow the same curriculum as the students in San Marino, but they do have different uh, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. For example, many of the students here study things like field biology, ecology, astrology, uh, geology, Native American studies. 
Um, we have a horse program. Students can hike and camp and mountain bike. The mountains are covered in snow in the winter time and it's a great place to go skiing. We're about, um, about 80 kilometers from the Grand Canyon. So all around us, we're surrounded by areas of natural beauty and uh, that's our outdoor classroom. In San Marino, the students here are, as I said, about 15 kilometers from Los Angeles. And Los Angeles is a big metropolitan city that has everything that a big city has to offer. We have everything from um, museums, art galleries, um, Disneyland, Magic Mountain. We have the beaches, we have the mountains. We have professional sports teams, uh, opera, um, uh, symphony, rock concerts, anything that you can think of in a big city. And our students are able to take field trips and attend many of these, either through their classes or on uh, weekend activities. Because we're a small school, our students um, are always in small classes, never more than 12 students to a class. So you can see that this allows for much um, individual attention. Students here, um, even if they're sitting at the back of the class, are still only three rows from the front. So there's nowhere to get lost. There's a lot of support from our teachers and we do have peer mentoring programs also. Here are just some more examples of our small classes. You can see that we have typical classroom settings. We also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one tuition, small group settings, and any way that helps the child to learn and um, prosper. Lynn, uh, mm -hmm. interrupting you, I have the first question coming in. I don't want to mm -hmm. ask if you can assist me on this. Um, sure. Okay, many of the agents who are here are interested on the postgraduate program. Explain okay. a little bit how this is working. And uh, because I get many questions, uh, what is the minimum entry requirement to do the postgraduate program? And some country ask me if they finish. Uh, so I will start first uh, with the first question. Can you explain us a little bit uh, about the postgraduate program? So we go step by step. Yes, yes, sure. So usually the students that um, come to us for postgraduate studies fall into a couple of different categories. Um, one kind of student that would come to us is a student that would need to have um, English as a second language. So maybe it's someone who wants to prepare to take their SATs or their TOEFL um, in order to get into a good university and they find a year with us, you know, we can really help them uh, hone those skills and really um, get to grips with things like academic writing and comprehension. So, um, you know, that in the US students, when they apply to university are required to usually for the very good universities, they are required to have a TOEFL score. And so we would be, during this year, pre helping prepare the student in their English so they can take the test of English as a foreign language to help them get into a good university. We sometimes have students who, for whatever reason, maybe don't feel quite prepared to, you know, get off a plane and go straight to university. They might be a little bit on the young side. They might feel that living in a dormitory situation in a boarding school can really help them um, become more independent and this is a good transition from students who you know sometimes in places like um, Indonesia students there finish school when they're still um, 17 they're not quite uh, they haven't quite reached the age of majority yet and so it would be difficult for them to live by themselves in the United States and so students like that find that it's helpful to come and spend a year with us to gain some independence, take some classes that maybe they haven't taken um, 
when, they, when they've been in their home countries. Um, maybe what I can do at this point is just talk about our curriculum and what the universities are looking for. So uh, at Southwestern, we um, follow a curriculum that is, uh, is known in the United States as a liberal arts curriculum. And what this means is that students must take a well-balanced curriculum. So I know in some countries, students um, focus more on the arts or focus more on the sciences. But in America, the universities want to see students who have um, a very well-rounded background. And so that's what we're trying to do here. And our students take a course that is prescribed by the University of California. And I'm sure you've all heard of the University of California system. It includes UCLA, UC Berkeley, um, UC Riverside, UC Davis. There are nine campuses and uh, students from our school often go to those universities. But Lee, having said that... Mm -hmm. Lynn, sorry to interrupt in you. Yeah. Do you have a list of these universities you mentioned at the moment? Uh, I do. Let me see. Maybe we can just show them. Okay, so you can speak now so they can see the different university. Thank you very much. Right. So I think, um, you know, in America, college and university mean the same thing. Um, it's a four-year course of study. We have two-year colleges and four-year colleges. The first two years of university are, again, a liberal arts curriculum, and everyone must take, take these uh, liberal arts classes. So even if you're really interested in math and science, you will still have to take some art and uh, liberal studies. The University of California system is one of the best university systems in the US, and so our students, when they graduate from us, are able to enter any university in the United States, including uh, the Ivy Leagues. There are more than 4,000 universities in the US. And if you look at this um, slide, you can see some of, the, some of the universities that our students were accepted to in the last uh, two years. If you, um, if you look down the list, you'll see that it's quite varied, that we have students going from our school to universities all over the United States. From Albion College all the way down to Woodbury University, which is um, a liberal arts college in the LA area. But Albion is in New York, Bryn Mawr in Pennsylvania. Um, there are some very, very good colleges here, Mount St. Mary's University. And some, you might notice here also, we have some um, art and design colleges and many of our students will prepare portfolios and go on to art and design studios. Our, our school is fairly close to Hollywood and uh, a lot of the kids are quite interested in film and drama. Thank you very much, Lee. In the meantime, I'm pleased to inform you that we have 50 agents inside in the portal and I listen to your presentation. So- That's start, wonderful. Yes, and we start to get more and more questions. Uh, some send me some message in my WhatsApp as well. So I try to figure out which one to reply first. Okay. So let me go here. What is the minimum age to enter on your school? This is one of the first questions. Now we so um, so students, students uh, can enter our school from age 12. And the oldest we take them is uh, 18, 18 and a half. Okay. What is the minimum requirement uh, for entering the school in referral of TOEFL or IELTS? With, with regard, there is no minimum requirement because we offer a full English as a second language program. Everything from beginning 
through intermediate and advanced level. How about, so, it? Oh, sorry, mm. please, please. No, I was just going to say, so, so there's no need for students to have, um, to take a TOEFL or an IELTS test. However, if they have taken one, it's very useful for us to see, you know, what their level is. And I think if you, you know, for students who are um, looking to do a PG year and then go on to university, they're going to need a pretty high score. And so, you know, we can help them with that. that I can, I think I have, um, I have a slide here somewhere which um, maybe shows the uh, entrance. Mm, well, now I can't find it. <laughs> maybe not. I thought there was a slide that had uh, what the students needed to prepare. Okay, okay, but, um, that's okay. Our, our, our application is online and you can, uh, you know, all of the uh, information is there. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, after the, the workshop, we will send an email to every one of you so you are able to schedule a one-to-one -one meeting with Lin and his team. And uh, so you will receive more information as well in refer the curriculum, in refer uh, brochure, agents agreement, uh, but commission. This is why we are here, Lynn. Tell us. Right. A bit <laughs> well, I, I think we've got a really exciting uh, commission uh, base to, to offer this, this year. And that is we are offering a 25% commission rate on the total tuition room and board fee of 51,500. So a 25% commission for uh, on, on uh, 51,500 is around $12,900. Uh, however, there's a little catch. <laughs> we, we, want, um, we want two students. <laughs> so if you can get us two students this year, you can earn uh, $26,000. Wow, this is very good. I have another question. In respect of the TOEFL requirement for a candidate who would like to apply for the postgraduate course. I'm sorry, Richard, can you say yes. that again? One agent, uh, Dr. Khan, wish to know, mm -hmm. is there any TOEFL requirement for a candidate who would like to apply for, for, a, uh, for the postgraduate course? Well, I, th I think that there isn't a requirement for the TOEFL, but um, what, what, uh, what the student and the agent must understand is that, you know, if, if the student is a beginner, a beginner in English, they're not going to be able to uh, reach the required level in one year, in that postgraduate year. So it really depends on where they're starting from. So if, you know, when a student applies, we would look at their scores and make a determination as to whether we think they will be able to complete a postgraduate year. Typically, when a student comes in um, into the regular school, they're given a test upon arrival for their English ability, and then we would place them into the relevant classes. So with a PG student, um, they would need to show us, you know, what their TOEFL or IELTS was. But at this point, um, I don't have a, a minimum requirement. We would just need to take a look at it and see, you know, if it's a really excellent student and we think that they'd be able to manage the English uh, curriculum for ESL during that year. Okay, I have more questions coming in and is in refer of the uh, a little bit complicated question. Let me try to explain you in a few okay. words. Um, when you have an application, what is the, the step? First of all, you have an interview with the students online. How, how yes. is it working? You know, you have the interview, then 
maybe you send them the confirmation then uh, they have to pay like a fee of 250 dollars then you send them the i20 can you explain us how it works yes exactly? yes so so basically we would um ask the students fill out the application we do have uh, we do require recommendation letters from the english teacher math teacher and a school counselor or um, pastoral worker the student is required to fill out the questionnaire and it's fairly detailed so we get a pretty good idea of you know who the student is if we accept the student we send out an acceptance letter and uh, a statement of uh, the tuition costs and uh, unlike universities that maybe ask for 250 dollars as a deposit we actually require the students to pay half of the money up front. This is all refundable if the student does not get a visa. So all of the students coming to us for this postgraduate year or for um, you know, another course of study will study with the F1 visa and we provide the I-20 so that they can then take it to their um, embassy or consulate to have an interview to get the visa to come and uh, st study in the United States. Excellent, excellent. Now we go back to the commission. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, one agent asked me, um, the commission, is this the same for, uh, for the standard program and the postgraduate program, or is there any difference? No, this is, this is um, something that we've just Generally, we offer 10% commission to any um, agent that brings a student to us. But because of what's going on right now, you know, we would like to have more students. And this is um, an opportunity just for this year until September, uh, you know, until next September. And we are offering 25% commission for two students. What's happened if someone bring to you only one student? This is another question that I get into. Then, then it goes back to the 10%, the, the regular, the regular um, commission rate. Yeah. So I think I replied to some of the agent who asked me these questions. And this is very, very important. But uh, as every agent, I know all of you, you are as well business people. So what I suggest you, if when you have one candidate and you really thinking that this candidate can be a very good candidate for the school, for the postgraduate program or for the standard program, um, then I will suggest you to contact Lean. And then you see, because I mean, the commission, you pay this only on the first year or you pay this as well on the second year on the third? So we will, we will, we will pay this every year the student stays with us as long as they're in good standing. And that means, you know, that their grades, their grade point average is, is high and they're, they're continuing as they started. Then uh, how long is the standard program and how long is the postgraduate program? So the postgraduate program would typically be one year, and that is either after a student has already graduated from their home country and needs extra English or um, advanced classes or remedial classes, something to help them get into the university of their choice for the postgraduates. The typical course of study is four years long. In America, high school is four years from age 15 to 18, grades 9, 10, 11, and 12. If an agent would bring you a student uh, for mm -hmm. the postgraduate program, will yes. you or your team uh, helping the students to enroll in one uh, of the university you indicated here? Um, yes, we have um, a college counselor who works uh, individually with each of the students and they will help them with their applications, with their uh, university essay, with their letters of recommendation. Our teachers are all very good at writing letters of recommendation for our, for our students. 
So we don't have, you know, in America, there are no high schools that have direct paths to a particular university. It doesn't work like that. But um, we do everything that we can to help our students get into the university that they want to attend. Perfect. Uh, you're answering many, many questions here. Uh, I have some questions with the age did not ask me, but I will ask myself to you. Mm -hmm. And is in the fair of the accommodation. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about accommodation? We have to do a little bit of Q&A now because uh, I get questions coming in. And sure. <laughs> so I, I like to do the Q&A with you so it's easier for everyone to understand. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so all of the students coming from overseas live in our dormitories. We don't have a homestay program. Everyone is living at the school. And on campus, we have boys' dormitories. We have um, facilities to uh, house 73 boys. And off campus, we have 36 girls. So that's about 107 students who are boarding. The rooms are double bedded and every student gets a bed, a desk, a locker, a wardrobe, and um, a safe in which they can keep their uh, computer and valuable things. It's um, not the Ritz Carlton, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's comfortable and uh, clean and tidy. And the students are given three meals a day, except on the weekends where they're given two meals a day. And that's not because we're trying to starve them. It's just that we allow them to sleep a little later in the weekends. They don't have to come to school on Saturday or Sunday. And they have a brunch around 10.30 or 11, and then usually go out on um, field trips. Another question coming in, in the, in the garden of this one. What about the food? What is included? So in the tuition room and board fees, everything is included. So that would be um, accommodation, food, seven days a week, accommodation, seven days a week, three meals a day, as I said, except for the weekends where they get two meals a day. And um, all, all their classes and any kind of uh, support classes where teachers would be um, taking time after school to help students, this is all included. The only thing that is not included is books, and uniforms. And when I say uniforms, I don't mean school uniforms, because as you can see, the kids actually wear whatever they want with, within reason. They're asked to come to school in kind of smart, casual dress, um, no jeans, no sneakers. They wear proper pants, shirt, sometimes a tie if they want. And the girls wear, you know, skirts or pants and blouses. So it's, um, we want them to look like they're ready to come to do some work, not, uh, you know, not to go out to play. So it's a, it's kind of semi-formal. Um, but they're, um, they do wear polo shirts and there's a fee for them if they want to buy them from school. But they're, when I say uniforms, I mean sports uniforms. So if they're playing on a sports team, and most of our kids do, then they would have to um, purchase their sports uniforms I have an agent from Turkey and uh, mm -hmm. she asked me if uh, uh, you have a big cosmopolitan student from around the world or is more focused on Chinese uh, students or more focused on South American students or you have a mix <laughs> of, um, of country just to have an overview Mm -hmm. So uh, this year, I think we have students from about 20 different countries. Our biggest population the last, uh, I would say the last eight to 10 years has been Chinese students. But we are trying, have been making a concerted effort to kind of redress that balance and have uh, less Chinese students and more students from other countries. So right now we have students from, from China, from um, Japan, Korea. We have students from um, Indonesia and Vietnam, Thailand. We have students from Germany and from uh, 
Poland, Russia, Kazakhstan, and uh, South and Central America, Brazil, Guatemala, um, Mexico. Excellent. What about India? This year, we don't have any Indian students. We but have had in the past, but um, this year we don't. Okay, fantastic. What about the different religion? Because you mentioned different countries mean as well different religion. You, what do you do on this? Uh, do you have uh, in refer of the food, for example? Uh, or so, so um, etc. For yeah, um, as far as food, we try to accommodate everybody. It's um, the, the food that is served, we have um, at, at breakfast, it's a cafeteria system and there are choices. So students can eat what they want. And for example, if we have Muslim students or Jewish students, um, you know, if, if we're serving pork, we always have an alternative. Um, Lunch again is a uh, uh, cafeteria style and um, students can, uh, you know, sit with whomever they like and enjoy their, enjoy their food. But it, but it is, you know, sit down, uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Students are expected to stay and socialize at the table and have good manners. And, uh, you know, we generally have, I think, pretty good food. Um, there's always a little bit of, uh, you know, there are always some kids that complain about it, but I think that would be typical anywhere. It's hard to, it's hard to um, accommodate everybody's needs uh, when, when we have such a diverse uh, student body, but I think we do a pretty good job. Excellent. And now, of course, we have more and more requests, uh, but one interesting request is for the ladies uh, and as well for the boys. What about the laundry? Is the laundry included or not included? Uh, what, what it's, it, okay. This, so in, in each dormitory, um, in each dormitory, there are a set of washers and dryers, ironing boards and irons, and the students are all um, required to do their own laundry. Of course, the dorm mothers and dorm fathers help them the first time and show them how to how to do their laundry and then they do it themselves fantastic fantastic so i think you can continue with your presentation you replied many mm -hmm. many questions okay. now and i'm sure the more questions coming in shortly please continue with your presentation well the the other thing that i wanted to uh bring up was uh the merit scholarship that we have. So this, this is available for any student that wants to uh, join us. And this is a $16,000 merit scholarship. So if you have a student who is really an excellent student, um, they, could, they could be um, eligible for this. And again, this information is available on our website, but it's a pretty good scholarship and uh, Presently, we have uh, one student that is uh, that that was eligible for this, and she's now been with us for um, she's going into her second year right now. The other thing that I wanted to just tell you a little bit about is um, we've talked a lot about uh, courses and what the students study, but in a boarding school it's much more than the academics. It's, you know, it's really about, uh, it's a place where they, where they live as well as study. And so we have a lot of activities that go on during the school year. And I just want to show you a couple of these. So um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, the Harry Potter series, but that you may have seen them and they have school school houses where all of the students in the school are divided into different houses and they have uh, house competitions throughout the year so we have the aces deuces jokers and kings and this is uh, a lot of fun for the kids they they have friendly competitions all year long and the team with the most points at the end of the year enjoys a day off and sometimes they take them to somewhere like Disneyland. But they do all kinds of things from 
math competitions and science competitions to fund things like, you know, uh, Halloween uh, gags where they're bobbing for apples or doing fun stuff. And then we have a lot of clubs on campus. And as you can see, we also have uh, field trips on the weekends to places in the mountains for skiing in the winter, hiking, and uh, that picture that you see in the middle there is the Grand Canyon. So we do camping and hiking trips, a lot of outdoor activities at both campuses, um, more so in Arizona, but uh, quite a few in California too. But in California, because we're close to the, um, the city, we have many more things like, um, as I said, professional sports teams, music, art, museums, those kinds of things. We also, because we are an international school, host international dinners uh, one, one day each month. So students from a particular country or region of the world will get together, they go shopping, they buy all the food they need to cook dinner for everyone in the school and all their guests. And it's a lot of fun. Before the dinner, the students usually put on a program. They dress in national costume, they dance, they sing, they play musical instruments, uh, put on a performance. Sometimes they show a video about their country. They're very proud of where they come from. They're very happy to share it with the rest of the students and teachers and aunties and uncles and anyone else who might come. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge success. The kids really love that. So we do that, really celebrate the internationalism of our school. And I was mentioning to you also a little bit earlier about the, um, the liberal arts curriculum that we have. And just talking about how, um, as well as doing them, the, the core subjects like English, math, science, social studies, and the language, the students are encouraged to and have to take some art and some um, visual and performing arts each year. One of the things that has evolved from this is a little news program that we have. So it's a student produced video and it's not very long a couple of minutes but we find interesting things that are going on on campus sometimes we have speakers that come in or groups that are come in to um, do a play or something like that and we make small videos of them and then post them on youtube so that parents and friends and anyone that's interested can take a look and if you have time, you might like to do that. Have a look at our, um, some of the videos that the kids have produced. As I mentioned, um, we do have a close connection to the University of Southern California, which has an excellent film program. And uh, two years ago, we had two students who actually got into the film program and maybe one day they'll, you know, be a famous filmmaker like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> so, we're very proud of this particular program. This would be fantastic, Lynn. This would be <laughs> fantastic. Yes, because of that, I have two or three questions which come in my mind at the moment. I mean, the school has a long history. I think they are, they are soon reaching 100 years. Yes, yes, we are. So right now we're at our 96th year, and the school was founded by our present headmaster's father, his name was Maurice Veranda, and he founded the school in 1924. Um, about 20 years later, uh, the, the school in Beaver Creek was established. And so there are some very cute pictures here. And this, this little one in the front is our headmaster when he's about four, four or five years old in his military uniform, because we started out as a military school. And then uh, after the war, we became a co-educational school for girls too, and we're no longer a military academy. 
Another question, Lynn. I think this is fantastic. Uh, so, agent, you can trust uh, you can trust uh, Southern West Academy if you are worried a little bit about uh, sending half of the of the money in advance when you do an application. You can mm. trust Southern West Academy. This is quite one hundred years long school. This is not a new school. So, I mean, uh, a school with this experience and had thousands and thousands of students from all around the world, uh, you should not worry about this. I mean, um, if you, Lynn has such a <clears throat> long-term experience as well in this industry, and uh, she's working with agents from all around the world, all, every day. And uh, so I'm sure that sometimes you're a little bit worried, especially now because of the COVID, et cetera. But um, when you're working with a school which is such a, a history, uh, you should be very comfortable to work with. Uh, so you should not even think about what happened if uh, I enroll one student and I pay half of the fee and then after I will not get the money, uh, the money back into my account, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, uh, we, 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 we're speaking about a school with 19 six years of uh, experience uh, right and this uh, is something that uh, you really have to put in consideration when you speak to parents uh, i mean uh, this uh, can give uh, so you can sleep during the night without any problem and as lynn explained uh, they welcome students from all around the world you mentioned as well from japan i have one of my uh, long-term uh, Japanese agents now with us today. So welcome uh, Hi. To here. Hi. <laughs> yes, we have reached. Hi, Please. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, konnichiwa. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, we continue with the presentation. I lost you, Lynn. I know, Lynn, you're here. You don't, lo don't lose me. Don't lose me. I have to stay with you <laughs> all the time. So right. I just say hello in, 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 in Japanese. Um, and um, anyway, what I want to say is um, we have uh, now 53 agents from all around the world, including from Japan. And uh, I know you mentioned you have as well Japanese students, uh, South Korean students on your camp mm -hmm. all the time. I have a question because of that. I think this is a very interesting question is, uh, as we have many agents from around the world, do you have staff who speak another language than English, like uh, Chinese, uh, Spanish, Japanese? We, yes, yes, we do. We do. Um, we have uh, on campus, we have uh, Spanish speaker, uh, Indonesia, uh, uh, Bahasa Indonesia speaker, um, uh, Chinese speaker, um, uh, Tagalog speaker. Um, I, th I think maybe that that's it for uh, this year. I'm, I, I, I know that we had a Russian speaker a couple of years ago, but um, I'm not sure. I think he's not with us anymore. But yes, so we, we do have some, some faculty that speak uh, um, another language. Generally, it's not a problem. Even, even for students that have very basic language skills, they soon, they learn very quickly. This is very important because um, the communication today sometimes goes with the parents, not even with the child. So this is very good if you have someone who speak in a second language. Another point, right. uh, this is for the Chinese, Taiwanese, uh, Hong Kongese, etc. You will mm -hmm. be able to place um, a WeChat contact with, this, uh, with the agent coming from this part of the world or line, as you know, line is Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I, I know, you know, I have WeChat, but I, I'm not sure whether you've been reading uh, the news recently. It may be that we cannot have WeChat in uh, the United States for very much longer. Oh. Our president wants to um, uh, ban it. But we do have we do have WhatsApp. Okay. And I think uh, that's very popular in Europe. So this is uh, this is a news which we hope that will not happen. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. 
But anyway, for all the agents who want to have a, a one-to-one session with Lynn, or want to have more information about the school, I just put a link now on the chat, a form site link. Just fill out this form site link, and so we are able to give this information to Lynn, and she will be able to contact you directly. This is very, very important. I mean, this is yes. fundamental uh, to cooperate together. And then, of course, you are able to have an agent agreement as well. And, uh, and you're able to discuss with Lynn the commission because, of course, the 25% commission is for two students. Uh, now, the aim is uh, if you get one student, usually you get as well a second student. This is quite uh, a standard procedure. But still, if you have one student, you get a commission, which is not 25, is a little bit less, but you will receive it. And not only for one year, but as well for the common year. So the second year, third years, and fourth year. Correct, Lynn, on this? For those, that, that's for the student, for the agent that brings us two students. That 25% that will continue the following years. Yeah. But the regular, the regular 10%, which is what we usually offer, is just 10% for that one year. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for correcting me on this. That's okay. It's just, I, I feel like it's a real opportunity. It's, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to get 25% for two students. Yeah. I want to share my screen a second now, if it's possible. Can you give me the screen back, Lynn? Just click yes, I, I, I think I possibly can. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I uh, do that. Let uh, me see. Sure. Uh, let me see. Um, I feel like I've lost you. Let me see. You lost me? Hey, I, don't where, I don't know where you're post attendee uh, Zoom. Sometimes no? happen. Let me see. Join a meeting, not that one. Just click share screen Different. one more time. Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let me see. Let me. Uh, Problem. You're back like you was before. Now okay. just. Okay. Oh, maybe it's here. It is here, here, here. Sh sharing is paused. Bring your window to the front, okay? Bring all to front. No? So, uh, let, we try to go back like it was before. Let me mm -hmm. see if I can to, to be back now. And I will share my screen a second. Let me go here. Let me go out from this screen here. And this is the link uh, that uh, I put. Uh, I just copied the link one more time because I hear that someone said to me that the link is not working. So uh -huh. I will just copy this one more time and uh, share this on the chat system. So let me go here. The link does not work, Richard. Yes, everyone in the meeting. I will put again one more time the link. Uh, and uh, let me see if it's working now because it can happen sometimes that the link doesn't work. So let me go out of the system and I will see if I can go inside from another part. Uh, let the gentleman be a little bit patient with me. For a second, uh, I have to go inside in my secret world of Weba <laughs> and I need to go and uh, retake the link out one more time. So let me go here. So now I can see that seven of you already apply. So the link was working, but I don't know for what reason. Um, copy the link and stop share. Here we go. I will put the link here one more time on, on the chat below. I will put the correct link now on the chat below. So if you want to have a one-to-one -one meeting with Lean, we have now 51 agents inside from 27 different countries. Just click on the form site link I put it now, and this will help you to have a one-to-one -one meeting with Lean and to get additional information from her directly. So you will be able to schedule this meeting 
directly with, uh, with Lin. Lin, you want to add some additional information in concluding everything? Um, well, I just would like to say thank you very much, everyone, for showing up this morning. And uh, I hope you like what you heard. We would love to have more students from, from any of you. We're just, we're very excited about this school year, even though we're dealing with COVID, we seem to have really um, figured things out. And uh, we do have students on campus and we'd like to welcome more. So thank you, Richard. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn, very much. It was a very interesting presentation today. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind you one more time, we had Southwest Academy, which is a school located in California, not too far away from uh, Pasadena, if I'm correct. Yes. Well. By the way, in Pasadena, there is a fantastic bakery. I was there myself once. Uh, and I suggest everyone to enjoy this famous bakery in Pasadena. And it's a great place as well for parents uh, to visit the child uh, because this is a very important point as well. Some of the parents, they want to send their child in a nice place. Uh, I like Los Angeles, it's a fantastic, it's one of my preferred places in the world. Uh, so this is where I spend my holiday usually with my family, is LA. Well, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. I think one of, one of the nice things about San Marino is that it's, um, it's close to LA, but it's not in LA. And yeah. so I think sometimes for people, you know, across the world, they hear LA and they think, oh, big city, maybe a bit scary, but San Marino is a beautiful little place. People call it the Beverly Hills of the east side. So, you know, Beverly Hills is on in West LA, San Marino is in East LA. It's a really small little town, about 23,000 people. And uh, it's the, uh, all single family homes. There are no apartment buildings. There are no movie theaters. There are no takeout places, no McDonald's, no nothing like that. So it's, it's a beautiful residential area. It's very safe. And uh, all the homes are million dollar homes. You know, they're just very expensive. And so we're in a beautiful, beautiful place. But um, so it's, it's a great place to come and study and to have fun. And when, when you're done with your studying, you can go out into the community and there's all kinds of things right on our doorstep. Fantastic, this is what we want to hear. So ladies and gentlemen, we had this school now here. If you're interested, just fill out the link on form site that I put on the chat below. And uh, thank you. I just want to say thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. Thank you, chat. thank you. Thank you everyone for showing up this morning. Thank you, thank okay. you. Lynn. So ladies and gentlemen, it was great to welcome you here today and to welcome Lynn. I would like to thank everyone to join the 60 Minutes Weber Life Workshop US School. I hope this will help in you to increase the number of, uh, of students as well, because it's a great opportunity if you have two students to get 25% commission. This is over 12,000 US dollars, so it's very, very interesting per student. So you can imagine if you have two students, it's about 25,000 US dollar, even more. And this is every year. So this is like a, a very good income for agents who are interested to send the students to Southwestern Academy as well only for the final year for the postgraduate program because Southwestern Academy will help uh, the students to apply into the university. We saw many famous uni universities like UCLA, all the group of University of California, but not only in California, of course, if, uh, if someone wants to study in New York or in Florida or any other place in the United right. States after the, the postgraduate program, he's more than welcome. There is no um, fix on California. Ladies and gentlemen, from my side, I would like to say thank you everyone to join me. Thank you, Lynn, as well, one more time. Thank you. My pleasure and great to welcome you everyone here. And I hope to welcome you in one of my next uh, future live workshop. I will share one screen, my screen one more time. So you will find that you will find it here, the live workshop on webaworkshop.ning.com. 
So all the agents who are member of Weba and 90% of you, you already member of Weba, you just go inside on webaworkshop.ning.com and you are able to see the live workshop and as well to go in contact with Lynn directly here. You can see Lynn on the left side. So you will able to have directly the link with with Lynn here, her profile, the website of, of the school, the location. You can put some comment to her directly here if you wish. And here you will find insight about 3,500, uh, let me see here at the moment. We have 3,577 members. This means we have uh, agent and school representative insight from all around the world. And back to University of California, as you can see here, we have University of California, who is a member of WEB as well. So you just can click here, University of California, and you can see directly the University of California since when they are registered, et cetera, et cetera. So we have many school universities who are members of WEB. This is a very suggestion for the one who are not members so far. They are able to become a WEB member. The cost to be a member is 179 US dollar per year. You just have uh, to sign up here on top on the right side. So, and you will find here all the live events uh, coming up before or next week or in the future. So thank you very much. I can see many chat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the workshop today, the web uh, live workshop. And we are looking forward to, to welcome Lynn again and his team in the future. And as well, you as an agent. Um, I know I speak always too much, uh, but this is like I am. My name is Richard Affolter. I'm the director of Weba. I want to say thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.